or smothering. What we've heard so much about helicopter parenting, where kids are monitored 24-7, coddled, under a constant watch. But is there a balance that works? We didn't know. So local mom and author Amy Alomar is here to tell us. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for coming in. I think this is something where, uh, as parents, we're not quite sure how to find that balance. We want to be watchful, but at the same time, we want our kids to grow and mature. So help. How can we find balance here? Yeah, and we see the pendulum swinging, right, with all yes. this introduction of free range parenting and right. um, we want to you know avoid the labels and you're going to find yourself on every side of the pendulum and in between <laughs> so you want to kind of look for opportunities where your child can grow and be independent but also you know when they need a little more nurturing a little more coddling you want to identify those so really you know your child best and you want to think about what's the purpose of this action right like is this an opportunity where mm -hmm. they can grow or is this a time where they really need me so it sounds like sometimes it is okay to be a helicopter parent. Yeah, and I mean, I try really hard to avoid those labels because yeah, yeah. they get such a stigma with them, right? right but right. it's okay to be a parent that cares and pays really close attention. Yeah. Um, you know, you may have a kid who's really independent in school and can do their homework on their own and do everything without any interference from you, right? Or you may have a kid who maybe needs your help, you know, your hand in there and really walking them through what's going on so that eventually they can do it on their own. And you have to kind of figure that out for your kid. Well, that's just did. I was going to say, when is there a time to step back? Yeah, so you start stepping back really young, and you let them do things on their own. Okay. Um, so, you know, tying their shoes, making yeah. their lunch, getting themselves dressed, and then as they get into those tween years, dealing with the friendships on their own, stop kind of meddling where you don't need to be, and really watching how they how they do, you know, how do they react, how do they respond, and then helping them more on the home front, talking them through their problems, talking them through their challenges, so that they can go out there in the world and, and do their own thing. What happens um, to children of health? helicopter parents that are helicoptering all the time. Uh, is that, you know, something that, I, I mean, obviously it's a label that, you know, is right. there for a reason. If you're um, over-involved, you yeah. know, your child doesn't have the opportunity to develop resilience and grit and learn that they can depend on themselves. You know, pull yourself up by your bootstraps so that when they do end up on their own, they don't really know what to do. So you want to teach them that in the small and large challenges in their life. You know, you want them to make mistakes. Yeah. You want them to make as hard some as bad it is. decisions. Yeah, yes. yeah. And, and that way they see that they're actually have consequences. So if, you know, people are watching and they're thinking, huh, I'm a helicopter parent. How, how do they start uh, stepping back? How do they start, you know, because that's hard. It's just Sometimes you are who you are and that's the way you thought you were supposed to parent. How, how do you start making those changes to find that balance? Yeah, that's a great question. And you want to look for small baby steps, right? Okay. So yeah. look for those small opportunities. So identify one area maybe you're doing that and try to step back. If you try to do too much, it won't succeed, right? right. So you and it might be shock to your kid as well. Exactly. Like, what happened? Exactly. <laughs> And then offer them opportunities, you know, where you can find, ask your friends for help, ask your teachers, mm -hmm. you know, for experiences that they see where your child could really grow. How can we send people to your website? Oh, amyalamar.com. Thank Easy. you. Easy. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming in, Amy. Okay. My pleasure.